Hi guys, happy Sunday. It's a beautiful day outside, albeit hot. And I have already worked out, done my thing, and we are getting ready for company this week. So one of the things I do when we have company is I make a big batch of my spices. I've been doing that so far this morning, and I've got one that I wanted to show you. I did my Freaky Greeky this morning. I'm not gonna give you the recipe for that, that's a secret. But I did Freaky Greeky. I've given some people some samples of the Freaky Greeky. But I've got the Coffee and Spice Rub, which you're gonna love. This is for beef. So it's, it's for a, a, a heavier, a, he, a red meat. So it is very good. I am using Colombian coffee and it is full strength, right on caffeinated. So if you want something that's a little less caffeinated if you're cooking this for the evening, you may want to switch to decaf, but I would say get something nice and bold. We're gonna start off though with the basics of this seasoning. It's a basic Cajun seasoning with the addition of anise seed, which brings out the flavor of the meat. Anise seed has a little bit of licorice flavor and it is really good. So we're gonna start off so get your pen and paper because you may want to write this down. We're going to start off with four tablespoons of paprika. Now you see I've got the large jars. I go through spices really quickly. So when I, if I, I used to order from Penzies, I don't anymore. So what I've done is I'm using the spice from Sam's. Now I do order from the Spice House and I do go to the Asian markets and get a lot of my good spices like cumin and that type of thing. Oh my gosh, you can really get some nice cumin and very reasonable prices there. So we put four tablespoons of paprika in. Now we're gonna put one and a half uh, tablespoons of cayenne pepper. And on a lot of this stuff, you can modify it to meet your needs. If you don't like as much cayenne, if you don't like as much salt, Change it up, it's, it's up to you. The recipes are just a guideline, you're sort of a framework, and you work around it. We're gonna add two and a half tablespoons of black pepper, and I had one open already, but I have gone through it so quickly, I decided to open up another one, and we're gonna do two and a half tablespoons of this black pepper. One, two, and a half. So, the next thing we will do is granulated garlic. And we will do three tablespoons of granulated garlic. One, two, and three. Oh my gosh, it smells already. As soon as I open that garlic, it's like, wow. And you see, I line my spices up when I make them. Same thing with Freaky Creaky. Same thing with my basic spice, your mama's. I line them up so I don't lose track. It's a good way to do it. Same with your recipes. You should always have your recipes in place when you cook instead of just flying wild. So the next thing we're gonna do is add onion powder. I'm gonna add granulated onion because I like that a little bit better. We're gonna do one and a half tablespoons of that. One and one half. Now this is not rocket science, so if you, if you can change it up, if you like a little bit more of this, if you like a little bit more of that, it's up to you. Sometimes if I know that um, people can't tolerate the salt, I'll leave out some of the salt. Just know that it won't totally affect the taste. So, we're going to put three tablespoons of salt. Sometimes I use sea salt. Today I'm just gonna use regular. One, two, three. Now I know that I'm gonna be doing a brisket one there here, so I may use this on the brisket. I might have to make another batch because the briskets I have are very large. I'm gonna do one and three quarter tablespoons of oregano. So, here it goes, it's all dry spices and herbs, one and three quarters. My Greek seasoning is full of oregano, it is so delicious. And this is one and three quarters of dried thyme. A couple years ago, there was a shortage of thyme, I couldn't find it, it was like, oh my goodness. But Kenzie's did supply it for me, so that was good. One and three quarters, 
Then I am going to take, as you can see this, I got this at the Asian store, at the, um, this one's got, uh, purchased at the Indian store. Um, we're gonna use a tablespoon of this. As I said, it gives a licorice type of flavor to uh, your food. It just really is nice. That just, just about the right, let me grab a little bit more from this. When I buy it in bags like this, I like to, I, I always try to bottle it up and save it, put it in a bottle. I just find it better instead of having all these bags lying around my, uh, my pantry. All right, so far so good. This is what we've got. Now we're gonna take a cup, one cup of this Colombian, and we're gonna mix that right in there. Show you what it looks like. You're gonna to want to press out any lumps. Some of the, the cayenne have, some of the cayenne have lots, I think it's paprika and cayenne, they have a few lumps in it. So you want to get it nice and mixed, just like that. Beautiful smell. You can really smell that roasted coffee. So when you go to use this on the meat, what I suggest is to do it dry first. So you take your piece of meat. Um, have it ready, put this on, then add a little bit of olive oil and again season it with this. So this is enough probably to season that full brisket. My brisket's about eight to nine pounds. So it should season the full brisket. This is a great seasoning for reverse seared tri-tip. It's a great seasoning for um, filet flat iron steak. Give it a try. You'll love it. Put it on the grill and it's good to go. I hope you enjoy the seasoning. If you have any questions, message me.